So this is the moment that we have all been waiting for. What is coming up potentially this week is going to be big news and this is going to throw Congress into a tailspin or they could finally get something done. So good news is that we're going to have answers very soon. But what exactly am I talking about? Well, I'm going to get to that in just a minute. Got a bunch of stuff I need to go over because again, this is extremely important for our economy, for our finances and for everything in between. But all I ask is if you can do me a favor, go ahead, hit that like button and let's get right down to it. So this is what I'm talking about. This right here, President Biden and Speaker Kevin McCarthy are locked into a debt standoff with a new deadline on tap. Well, what is this deadline? Well, that's what I want to read to you because here is what we know. Look at this right here. Right here it says, the Treasury Department, based on fresh tax revenue data, is set to release an updated estimate on the so-called X date, okay? When extraordinary measures are exhausted and the U.S. can no longer meet its obligations, the new estimate is expected this week or next. This is extremely important. This is huge because we've been waiting for this. We knew that there was going to be no uh, real negotiations until the Treasury received all the information from the IRS and they knew how much money the U.S. actually has. As of right now, the X date is supposed to be towards the end of June, possibly July. And it could go all the way through, through to September. So again, this is extremely important. But what's actually going to happen? Well, here's what we know. Potentially this week, okay? This week, we are going to have a vote on uh, Republicans uh, raising the debt ceiling by $1.5 trillion. But in an effort to do so, they're going to slash spending. Well, according to reports just this morning, we now know that President Biden is threatening to veto the House GOP bill to raise the debt ceiling and slash spending. Now, why would he do that? Well, first off, I don't expect it's ever going to make it to President Biden's desk because I do not think the Senate will vote on this. They just won't. Why would the Senate, which is the majority of Democrats, why would they vote on this? And would they even have the votes to get this passed? Chances are, no, they won't. But here's the key factor. If the X date is getting closer and closer, and this is the date that the United States was actually, would actually default on its debts, we couldn't make payments. Well, if we get closer to that, there's a good chance that if there's a bill that's already passed the House and it's headed to the Senate, the Senate and uh, Senate Minor my Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, they, he would put that on the floor and he would let Congress, he would let the senators decide whether or not this heads to President Biden's desk. And if ultimately it does, and let's say there's just a day or two left, President Biden is saying he would veto this bill. That would be detrimental to the U.S. economy. And it would be everybody to blame. Not just the President, not just the Senate, not just the House. Everybody would be to blame. Well, here's the problem. According to many reports, there are some issues with this debt ceiling. One of those would be, according to Bloomberg, and this is from uh, analysts, it says Republican debt ceiling plan would boost joblessness. That means more people would go unemployed. Again, this would be a good thing for the Federal Reserve because the Federal Reserve says jobs are the number one cause for inflation. Well, how many people would actually lose their job? Well, let's look into this. It says right here, the research outfit headed by Mark Zandi forecast that gross domestic product would expand 1.6% in 2024 on a fourth quarter over fourth quarter basis and unemployment would end the year at 4.6%. That's up from where we're at right now. If the proposal became law, that compares to a forecast of 2.25% percent growth and a 4.2 percent jobless rate if the debt ceiling was increased without conditions keyword without conditions and that is something i can tell you right now republicans will not go for they do not want to raise the debt ceiling without any spending cuts but right here it says and the the report says by the end of 2024 unemployment 
is 780,000 jobs lower, okay? Now, again, I, I just wanna be very clear on this, okay? What we are seeing right now is a shift. It says McCarthy's proposal would increase the nation's debt ceiling by 1.5 trillion in order to stave off a US payments default until March 31st, 2024. It aims to trim 4.5 trillion in spending over a decade in part by cutting discretionary spending by $130 million next year and capping its growth at 1%. It also says down here, Moody said the program would slow the growth of the federal government's debt. Publicly traded debt as a percentage of GDP would be 106.5% at the end of 2033 compared to 116.5% otherwise. So again, that's one thing that we just need to look at. But here's another problem. This is actually coming from Reuters. Look at this. It says Republican plan could limit food aid for 850,000 people, the USDA says. Now, why is this? Why would we see the USDA come out and say that the Republican plan to uh, reduce our spending and increase the debt limit, why would this cause less food aid for 850,000 people? Well, it's actually pretty simple. One of the main reasons why is because of something called a work requirement. That is one of the reasons why. Now, one thing I can tell you is there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's a lot of back and forth. Are we going to see something done? Are we not going to see something done? Is the Federal Reserve going to come out and raise rates? Well, that is one of the big questions. According to Financial Times, uh, this article says, Fed weighs impact of banking turmoil on next interest rate moves. Well, guess what? On May 3rd, May 3rd, okay, right now I'm shooting this, it is April 25th. On May 3rd, that is a week from tomorrow, we are going to have an update. We will then know that if the Federal Reserve is going to decide to raise rates by another 25 basis points, are they going to pause? The expectation is the Federal Reserve will continue to raise rates by another 25 basis points, and at that point, they will pause. They will leave it as is for many months. Well, this is part of the problem because this is going to cause issues for banks. And just something that we saw just the other day, Moody's uh, is downgrading 11 regional banks. This includes Zion's, U.S. Bank, and also Western Alliance. We have issues. We have major issues. And a lot of this stems from what is the Federal Reserve going to do, but also are we going to go into a debt ceiling crisis? We're already in a little bit of a, of a pickle, if you will, but are we going to be on in a full-on crisis? The anticipation for this is going to hurt the economy. According to multiple researchers, they are now saying that if we see that we are getting close to a default, a full-on default, where we cannot pay our debts, the stock market is going to take a hit, real estate is going to take a hit. We can see the American people pull money out of their bank account. And guess what's going to happen then? This number right here, this 11 regional banks, according to experts, this number will skyrocket because smaller banks are going to feel the impact of what is going on with the U.S. economy, with interest rates and the debt ceiling. There's no way around it. So, just wanted to fill you in on what's going on right now. But again, good news is we are now getting closer to figuring out when the official X date actually is. Will it be in June, July, August? If we're lucky, maybe September. But as soon as we know more information, and hopefully that will be this week, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news. All you got to do is click that subscribe button down below so you never miss an update. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.